Hey guys, and welcome back to Devil's Third. When we last left off, we've just gone through this enemy gauntlet here, trying to get to a helicopter of some description. And we had to go through about 2,000 big, strong armoured guys. Uh, it took a while, but we persevered, because of course we did. Ooh, hello. Now, there's something you don't see every day. That's nice. Very nice. What's the betting we're going to be on that at some point? Oof. Hurry up. Come on, Definitely can't go. bet all of us on it. Oh. Stella! <laughs> Stella. That just makes you think of The Simpsons. Christ's sake. Our team's getting tore up. There's gotta be another way off this island. What about the IF2? Even if that plane's intact, she's a two-seater. Gentlemen, major head for the target with dive. We post here. Hold off the enemy. Yes, sir. Captain! That's the mission, ma'am. Take my engineer. Yeah, cool, buddy. You've got like six seconds to get it ready. That's what good luck beats. But you're on point. You'll need it more than I will. Are you sure? I might want to like shoot at the tanks. I, mean, I don't know why you want to shoot at the tanks, but shoot at the tanks nonetheless. Oof. They got Zeus's. I guess the engineer got that thing going. Well, I guess that's the last we'll be seeing of Bob. I'm sure that's meant to be a touching, sad moment, but, uh, huh. All right, let's see what this old bird can do. No computers to go wrong in this bad boy. This is everything I could pull on the Tsar Bell from the DOD's mainframe. The Soviets designed it as an orbiting satellite killer. The bell violated the International Outer Space Treaty, and apparently the CIA used that to pressure Russia into signing the Broad Island Agreement with the U.S. and Japan. Hmm. So America, Japan, and Russia all get rights to mine uranium. Everybody wins. Right. But there was also the secret Cosmodrome, effectively an ICBM launch facility, and a man waiting to get his hands on it. Isaac Kumano, the head of the SAD. Kumano was a retired Soviet lieutenant general. He secured the Zarbel passwords through his army connections. He took control of the Cosmodrome, then sent the detonation codes through the SATCOM link. Now Kamano's got enough missiles to blow the world back 50 years. Yeah, that's about where he'd like it. Hmm. Pretty sure that um, this IL would not be much of a match for any of that. When you think a game can't get any sillier, <laughs> sure, why not? I guess. Okay. Wow, this is really freaking hard to aim. I guess I can shoot our tail. 
Yeah, 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 we got this. We got this. Maybe. Wait, he's firing missiles at us. <laughs> I guess they made them pretty tough back in World War II. Yeah, at least we got a 12.7 millimeter. How'd you? Can we talk about the frame rate here? How are you meant to aim at everything when the game is a slideshow? <sighs> oh my god. I can't shake them. Um Really? What the hell? Is that Caraway? Yeah. It seems our Baron brought this flying circus. <laughs> Take her down so I can bail out. There's no shoot back there. Fly low. Out of your mind. <laughs> sure, why not? Right. I guess we don't need knees and legs and feet and Ivan, arms. Are you all right? Shoulders, back. Yeah. I love playing in the snow. The island is a fortress. They don't want anyone near the launch site. They sure aren't hiding the fact that they turned the space center into a military installation. Caraway brought paratroops. Link up with them and head for the launch site. Okay. Uh, right. This is Gold Team Leader. We've landed in the mountainous area to the south. Over. Gold so now we're playing Call of Duty? This is Major Maynard, Air Force Spec Ops. I've landed in the forest to the east. Can you link up? No, seriously. Do now we're playing Major. Call of Duty. Okay. Assault the enemy along the entrenchments. Over. Roger that. Okay. Sure. This is a thing, I guess. Alright, well, I mean, I guess we better... G I, I, I don't even know what to say. Alright, you're fucked. Expecting to see Hitler next. Not really sure on what planet these old World War II planes would actually uh, have any kind of chance against a, a modern uh. helicopter, especially a modern gunship, but sure. Also not even convinced that those SAMs would be able to target and actually track World War II planes because there's like no heat or electronic signatures for them to lock onto, but um, yeah, why not? You know, I'm overthinking this game. We know this game's a piece of shit and an utter train wreck. We've gone from a, a poor man's Resident Evil 6 to a, a poor man's Call of Duty. I think maybe they wanted to make two or three games where they just shoved it all into one. Because we've even got like, like, bits of crisis from in this, you know, the predator suits, uh, the zombies. We've had like ninja showdowns, samurai showdowns, which don't make any 
sense because you know we're supposed to be Russian and, and the enemy well the enemy's Russian we're American I guess it's because samurais are cool right ninjas are cool I guess I don't even know what to say about this though. I mean, what is this? We even had Metal Gear. Poor man's Metal Gear. I've got very much a love-hate relationship with Metal Gear, but... I mean... Oh god, trying to get around that corner with the frame rate was not easy. Oh, I'll take that as a win. What are you doing? Trying to be a fucking champion. Yeah, well, I think we've suppressed the anti-air fire from these ancient ass World War II pieces. Is that like a Medal of Honor? Is that like a pickup that we can find here? Or a Purple Heart? Well, Purple Heart is still relevant, but I suppose they're all fucking relevant medals, really. Nope. Also, these areas look really big, but they're really not. Can we get in there? Uh, I'm sure there should be commentary here, but I literally have no words. Broad side of a barn. Well, they shot a lot of you down, didn't they? What even was that effect on the screen? Then? Oh, there's a flamethrower. Oh, yeah, of course, because it's the World War II bit, so... Down for you. Flamethrower here. Like a freaking beach landing. I think maybe uh, the guy knew that this was probably going to be the last video game he ever made. So he just tried to cram as much into it as possible. concentrated so much on cramming as much in as possible we forgot to make a competent game I mean that's kind of what happened with Resident Evil 6 they tried to just put too much into the game but here's like at least Resident Evil 6 was like a, a, a video game that could be enjoyed I mean it was near the bottom of the barrel for Resident Evil for me but it, you know, mechanically and all the rest of that shit, and it was well programmed and it fucking worked. This, I don't know what this is. I mean, Resident Evil 6 was fucking silly, so it was Resident Evil 5, but then they kind of all were, I suppose. But were they objectively terrible games? Were. Are they objectively broken, shitty games? Resident Evil 5 and 6. No. Not at all. Shit game design. Maybe. Shit story. Definitely. But at least they were functioning video games. This is just ass. Not only is it nuts and batshit crazy with terrible characters, it doesn't fucking work fairly. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I thought I played some shit in my time, but this... This is sun else. Oh, okay. Like, why does Bob have that fucking minigun on his back? Like, is it literally just there for show? It is, isn't it? It's literally just there for show. It serves no purpose. Dick. Need to go take a breather. I'm glad this game has regening health. Because we fucking really need it. Imagine this game without regening health. That's not a world that I would like to envision. Ugh. Right. 
How are we doing? Uh, how would you make like a, a beach landing, World War II style, in a video game and somehow make it so it's not funny? I didn't think that was possible. I don't even know what that little gun turret thing is. Uh, okay. There we go. Right. Let's swap this rifle out for something a little bit less shit. I said less shit, game. Ugh. Less shit, game. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at them all. Fuck me. I guess we can't even get any explosives. Oh no, that one went over. There we go. Kind of did something. <sighs> Not sure it accomplished what we wanted it to accomplish. But I don't really know what reality is right now, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if we get some time travelling later. What the fuck? Wait, they're automated Gatling guns? That just disappeared? The Gatling guns just disappeared. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, why not, I suppose. Right. Yeah, requesting air support from some fucking hurricanes. Probably not going to get the sort of air support you want. Oh god, we literally just had like a full second of the game pausing there. Wait, look at those bullets. Bullet holes on the wall. Kind of just, yeah, they kind of just like fade in into, into view. Ah, fucking auto cover system. He's like literally lighting up a cigarette. I thought it was still part of the we'll reload animation. We'll I don't think I need you guys, to be honest. You're not doing a whole lot of much at the moment. Oh, good. Oh, really? You're going to lock me in this room with this douchebag? Ouch. Alright, let's get rid of you. Come on. Oh. Why are you not firing your gun? Luckily, we can confuse you with scenery. That works. Kind of. It works well enough. Does that gun just float off into the air? Uh, okay. I guess the whole idea of having a World War II esque bunker is cool. How the hell did you get them here? We broke some carriers out of mothballs. The Independence and the Constellation are a couple of clicks offshore. So you just had these old carriers ready on standby that were still seaworthy. So if you can paint the targets, we'll do the rest. Caraway out. Okay. I can paint the targets. But Wait, hang on, right. So he wants us to paint the targets by I'm guessing laser tag the targets? which sends a signal to a computer so the uh, air power can actually home in and attack the target. But they're going to visually look and spot the laser with their eyes. Oh, I, I feel a headache coming on here, I think. 
Ooh. Are we ready? Wow. Oh no, I'm gonna use smoke. That makes more sense. Right. This machine gun sounds like uh, a popcorn maker. Oh god, who's behind me? No one? Anyone? Someone? I don't know. Right, let's get that smoke out there. Might want to get out of here too. Nice. <laughs> I haven't lost my touch. Not in 50,000 years. Just poked my head up over the trench and lost it, literally. Oof. Okay. Oh. Let's get some textures loading in. Alright, let's get you smoked. Oh, now the smoke marker turns up. There we go. You get him? You get him. Alright, let's go make some fucking popcorn. Oof. Oh god. You wanna be popcorn too? Be my guess. Oh, okay, that hurts. Come on. Take it out. Okay. One left. Oh god. You wanna be popcorn too, buddy? That's up to you. Someone's like shooting me. Oh it's you. There you go, buddy. Oh god, almost dead. That's close. Can we not run up here? I guess not. Oh fuck. Right. I guess that does not count as cover. Come on, can we get behind cover, please? Does that count as cover? Kind of. <laughs> you see that big cartoony bomb coming? That was actually quite funny. There we go. Alright. Well, break on through to the other side, I guess. We've still got the popcorn gun. Ooh. No, let's grab that. Saved your neck, did they now? Alright, well, I knew he was going to have one of these big old guys sooner rather than later. Belt fed guns all the way. Hopefully this is enough. Yeah, cool. Just enough to take his ass down. I guess the fuse doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if it's a long fuse if the enemies, you know, don't try to avoid the grenades. So, I mean, I guess there's that. Maybe that. Why can't I pick that up? Thank you. Okay, cool. Oof, God. Dying, going to die. Got stuck on a box. Oh, man. Oh, it's rough. Ah, uh, the crust is real. 
Jesus. Okay. Ivan, do you copy? I'm in the telecom room of CD62, USS Independence. Why is he not even looking in the same direction? I mean, I don't mind. It makes my... Can you get out of cover? Oh, fucking auto cover system. Why? Why would you ever put an auto cover system in your game? And we don't have the belt fed. But that's okay. Cause he's just going to stand there anyway. So, Or is he? Nope. He's getting, getting closer. Just gonna keep pumping hundreds of bullets into him until he eventually falls down. There we go. I guess sometimes those guys are just weaker than others. I'm not sure. It feels like it. I know there's someone here. There we go. And then all of these guys just spawn out of nowhere. Next wave. Let's pop their heads. Oh god. Come on, single file. That's the way we like it. Single file. I mean, they're shooting up. Wait, are there unlimited enemies here? They're just shooting us before they can even see us. Which is fine, because it gives their position away. Okay, I tried to aim at those barrels there. There's like a weird auto-aim in this that drags your gun around. Which is really not nice. Yeah, USB keyboard map. So I guess you can put like a keyboard in, but why you would do that, I have no idea. Uh, and this doesn't, yeah, it does count as cover, it just doesn't quite understand how to get in there. Oh my god. That is nice not having your gun dragged around the screen. Okay. Anymore. Because we're pretty much out of ammo here, boys. Luckily, there's ammo everywhere. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Oof. Alright, well we've got a save, so let's have a little look behind here. Wouldn't be surprised if there's like, I don't know, some kind of... Oh, hidden lootable. Yeah. Cool. Oh, hey dude. Oh, dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. He's just like, <laughs> he's just standing there doing nothing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You have to love it, guys. You have to. You have to love it. This mess. Oh, good. Good. Uh. Come to think of it, that minigun doesn't exactly sound... Brilliant. Right. Where are you? There's another one gone. These shielded guys are a bit of an issue. Not a big issue, just a bit on the tricky side. Let's get the popcorn gun back out. Yeah, so I'm okay. I was going to say, I'm not sure if you can actually break through their shields after a while. But I guess maybe you can. Or you can just throw a grenade and watch them gravitate towards it. That works too. Where are you? Are 
he's literally stuck. Yeah, he's stuck on the stairs. Because he's a fucking retard. Oh, here we go. Here we fucking go. The world and his wife's just turn up. Oh, great. That's okay, because we've got the popcorn gun. Oh, God. These guys can actually get up here, though. Which is a little bit more threatening. Oh, shit on the shovel. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, can you see that frame rate? Jesus. Right, okay. Uh, let's go for the P90. I mean, it's got to be better than that fucking gun we just had. The popcorn gun. No, it can't be any worse. Let's be honest. Fucking shit show. Alright. Any goodies? Any goodies at all? Ah, eh, bullets are goodies, I suppose. Right, anyway. Oh my god, it's doing it again. <laughs> it's doing the frame rate thing again. I think you just have to poke the Wii U with a stick every now and again and remind it it's got to render frames. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.